Check out footcointraders.com for all of your ultimate team coins and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself an extra discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 10 of the My Player series here on Xbox One. We're into double figures and as you can see, we start today's episode with a game at home against Swindon. Now we technically picked up an assist in the last episode, although it didn't give us the, uh, the credit for it in the, in the stats. So hopefully we can pick up at least another assist today. If we can get a goal as well, as you can see on the right-hand side, 13 matches played at Sheffield United, 7 goals and 3 assists. So we're averaging a goal every other game, which is a decent rate for a striker, especially a striker that's growing in stature such as ourselves. So hopefully we can continue that record. And if we can pick up a goal and an assist today, I'll be very, very pleased indeed. But as you can see, we're starting up top alongside Billy Painter again. Now I'm recording this just after Arsenal have, uh, well crumbled against Chelsea so I'm in quite jovial spirits right now so hopefully we can transport that uh, good feeling onto the pitch as well on FIFA as well as in real life so fingers crossed we can get a good result against Swindon then we've got Brentford after this as well so a couple of games in today's episode hope you guys are going to enjoy it and let's jump straight into the action keep that in yes 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 someone make me run someone make me a decent run so I can find you I'm going to find you you on the edge of the box continue my run call for it again He's had a whack. Oh, I probably could have stuck a cheeky toe out there and tried to get on the end of that. I'm not sure what the offside line was like. And perhaps should have been a little bit more alert there. Come on, son. He's whipped it in. We're on our own on the volley. Oh, he stuck it to the bottom corner. What a finish. What a ball in, by the way, as well. And what a finish. We have managed to grab that goal that we wanted, that we said we needed at the start of the episode, exactly on 30 minutes. Half an hour in to the second, we volley ourselves in front at home against Swindon. They've been defending really, really well. We've got a bank of four and a bank of five when they're defending. It's so hard to break them down, but the technique there is beautiful. Right into that bottom corner. That is a fantastic way to take the lead. I may have shinned that absolutely horribly, but it still snuck its way into that bottom corner just inside the post, and we will gladly take a 1-0 lead. Here we go at half-time then, our man giving us the lead with that sweet volley just half an hour into the game. We're 1-0 up at the break, hopefully we can pick up a second goal and or an assist in the uh, in the second half to help, help, to help with those uh, league objectives for the entire season. Also to help with those, uh, you know, the little batches of four fixes we keep getting given. Hopefully we can pick up an assist as well in this one because I was really annoyed that it didn't give me the one in the last game because we need that to maintain our uh, our league objectives. And, of course, you guys did say in the comments, perhaps we could... Uh, oh, I haven't even got the ability to do stepovers yet. I need to get myself some extra skill moves as well. But uh, you guys did suggest in the comments to uh, to help with the the attribute boosting that we did potentially mention using uh, in a couple of episodes ago. Um, you know, if I match one of the, uh, the league objectives, then I could perhaps use a boost from that specific skill set. So if I match a, uh, you know, a goal-scoring attribute or objective rather and uh, and improve there then perhaps we could use a, a shooting attribute or if I get an assist we can use the ball skills or passing accomplishments a boost there something of that ilk so well, let me know in the comments section what you think of that because I would like to use the boosts a little bit if possible just to help accelerate our career a little bit because it is going to take quite a while and quite a few episodes to get ourselves to uh, to be of a high enough standing to warrant a first team place at a Premier League side which is, is of course the uh, the overall aim of a series like this so uh, hopefully we can accelerate it a little bit like that if you guys want me to if you'd rather we stay vanilla and uh, you know I keep just grinding out the games trying to put in the performances pick up the goals and the assists and pick up the uh, the attribute the attribute improvements through uh, through legitimate means through uh, you know performances and getting the goals and assists playing the passes staying on side just playing the games etc then I will of course do that for you if that's how you'd prefer things to go but uh, it would be nice to use attributes every now and again maybe I wouldn't do it constantly just to uh, to keep a fine balance but uh, definitely something I'm looking into but I want your guys feedback on it so let me know in the comment section down below but we could be in here if Billy or was McGinn can whip the cross in oh I scored with myself there we go over the line but unfortunately the ball doesn't play the one two with Cody if we can I'm going to call for the three ball it's come playing I can't see who it is is that Jose Baxter finds a man on the edge of the box Jefferson oh Jefferson scored a goal I don't believe it. I slate him every single week, but he's popped up on the edge of the box to smash us 2-0 in front and ensure we pick up another three points. That was a great strike. He's been improving as the season's gone on. Really, really accurate strike into that bottom corner. We take a 2-0 lead, and that should be game over from here on out. 
So there we go, guys. We pick up three points at home against Swindon Town. A very, very convincing performance. Not the most entertaining of games, but nonetheless, we grind out the win. Pick up the three points that are crucial in our push for that playoff spot. As you can see, pick up a 6.8 rating overall. One goal, 100% shots accuracy with uh, our shots on target. We only had the one shot that went in, so fair enough. 84% uh, pass accuracy is very pleasing as well. So hopefully we can continue that good form into the second game. So there we go, and then we've cut to the manager objectives. It just popped up on screen. We have matched the goals that uh, they wanted from us in those four fixes, picking up two, which is exactly what we needed. Unfortunately, we weren't able to read the reach the minimum average rating of 9 which is a bit far-fetched to be completely honest we only got 6.4 but still we have been struggling with the uh, with the match rating system but we'll, we'll disregard that one but we have managed to hit the goal conversion rate of 50% every other shot we've had has gone in and technically we did get the assist even though it didn't give it to us so uh, unfortunately it doesn't register us as getting that one but we know we did meet it so let me know in the comments section am I allowed to go and buy one of the not one of the big ones one of the earliest shooting uh, attribute boosts from the EA Sports Football Club because we did so well with getting the goals that were asked of us. Let me know and uh, if you guys are pro that idea then I will use it in the next episode rather than uh, you know doing it now and then asking for a reaction afterwards. I'll wait and see what you guys say on that matter. But as you can see we've got Brentford next and uh, we're coming up. They want an average minimum rating of six. Now that is achievable. They want one goal, a goal conversion rate of 14% uh, and a minimum of one assist. These are some tough games coming up though. As you can see, they say at the top, I expect us to pick up some points in the next few games. Leighton Orient is uh, going to be a big tough test as it, you would expect Brentford to be the same and Preston and Wolves are all teams that would be pushing for promotion out of League One. So uh, you can kind of understand why the expectations are a little bit lower for these next four games. So hopefully we can improve even more and uh, pick up another three points here and grow as a pro a little bit more as well. But let's jump into the game. We'll see how we get on. Go on then. That's a lovely ball. Can we get a shot across goal? Oh, it's a great save from Button there. That really was... A uh, fantastic opportunity. He's done really well there. It was a great shot from us. We got a good angle on it as well. But, oh, what a reaction save. Try and get on the end of the corner, though. The uh, the chance isn't dead yet. Come on, son. Whip it in. It's not headed our way. Our man's gone up, though. And, unfortunately, it looks like they're going to clear it. Picked up a corner. Just 20 minutes in. They've been playing some really nice stuff so far. They win the header from the corner. The chance isn't dead yet. McCormack picks the ball up. Steps past one. Steps past two. Unfortunately, the shot is, well pretty jeffing poor but they're threatening more so than we've uh, we've had to deal with in the past couple of games so uh, I'm a little bit concerned that uh, Brentford are going to match us on every uh, on every front right now we'll stand it up Billy could be in with the header oh just wide there's a chance for the assist for us and the goal for the team Billy Painter just misses that header glances it past the far post and that's how we're going to go in at half time so it's a really dull first half to be completely honest you might have seen one or two highlights from it that being the main one to be completely honest that and our, our shot in the opening few moments but uh, other than that nothing really to report so far away at Brentford it's a really wet rainy day and it's a wet performance as well so far but hopefully we can improve in the second period doing well here linking the ball up beautifully ball comes in Billy Penny goes up it's a great save that's the first chance we've had so far in this second half and we're 20 or so minutes in halfway through the half already and that's the first chance for either side careful to watch the line can I cut inside I can we're away I'm gonna hit this across goal oh, defenders come across that's so frustrating that's literally sums up this entire game oh. So there we go, it ends nil-nil away at Brentford. That was such a frustrating game. Just nothing would go our way whatsoever. My touch was loose. If we did get a chance, I'd overrun it. I made the wrong decisions. It's disappointing all round, to be completely honest. And I'm not even sure whether we... Yeah, we got a 5.9. Awesome. Really, really bad performance from me. It's the first time in a long time that we've, uh, we've had a game like that, which is disappointing, but we, we still unbeaten in uh, the last few games it was still a clean seat we haven't conceded which is good which is good we've gone up one overall to 71 now so let's let's take the opportunity to have a look at the squad report and see how we're getting on we'll scroll down to us as you can see eight goals in 15 appearances with three assists one in the league two in the cup average rating of 6.5 overall uh, let's have a quick look at the stats. Sprint speed at 1. We're progressing nicely. 71 overall. Still only valued at 1.2 million. But only 19 years old apparently. 
even though I set my birthday. Oh no, you set your birthday as the, the default, don't you? But never mind. I was going to say, I'm 25, and probably not 19. That's been a while since I was 19. But uh, we're progressing nicely, actually. We've got a couple of green stats in there now with the sprint speed and the and the stamina. More stats turning yellow, left, right, and centre all the time. So that's good. We're growing nicely as a pro. We'll have a quick look at the league table as well. We've dropped from third to fourth, but still well inside those playoff spots. A couple of teams below us, although it's still very, very tight. Only three points between third and seventh, so it could sway either way. So we have to keep up our level of performance and uh, make sure that we still put together a decent run. We've got Preston next. We've also got Wolves coming up as well and Leighton Orient. So let's bring this one to a close then. I kind of rabbited on there for a little bit and uh, I'm going to cut that out because it made no sense whatsoever. But uh, that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to leave the video a like. If you could be so kind, that would be absolutely superb. There was, of course, an episode of this yesterday. So if you missed it, check the channel page for it and then head back and check out that video. So, and of course, there's been AC Milan career mode all week previous as well. So if you missed anything on the channel, feel free to check it out. And uh, I hope you do enjoy it. Of course, if you aren't subscribed, feel free to do so. There's plenty of this coming to you four times a week and AC M Milan career mode every single weekday as well, which we will have more of tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.